Thirdly, uh, on the point of clarification, actually on point of order that clarified with the speaker, uh, I heard the senior minister of state speech earlier on. She seems to be attacking Lee Hsien Yang and imputing some character of Moti to that. And he's not here in the house to answer. Is it? Is that against standing order? SMS, you want to respond to the point of order first? The first, the second question? That uh, Mr. Lau has said that uh, you were replying against, uh, you were saying something against Mr. Lee Sien Yang. Mr. Lau must be mistaken. All I did was point out that there were certain allegations made against the government. I stated our position on that. And there is nothing at all that prevents Mr. Lee Sien Yang from responding uh, if he wishes to publicly. All I am doing is stating the government's position on various issues. Initially, Mr. Lee Sien Yang said he had not thought beyond demolition. If that is true, then he couldn't have ruled out redevelopment. Then he later said, that before the MC was formed, he had offered a memorial garden. So it appears that he had thought beyond demolition earlier. He did not make it clear if a garden is still his position now. After I pointed out the four possible options for the property, including the fact that demolition clears the way to appeal for redevelopment, Mr. Lee Sien Yang now says that he has no inclination to develop the house for profit. Inclination is a word that leaves a lot of room for change of mind. Why is he being so careful? If he changes his mind, then the land is potentially worth a lot. Why doesn't he just rule it out categorically? But let's take his statement at face value and see what else Mr. Lee Sien Yang said on Saturday. His exact words were, preservation of the house would be trampling on Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's values, and it would be an affront to these same values to develop a luxury LKY condominium. Well, isn't that exactly the same thing that DPMTO had said, leaving aside the bit about values? In other words, no total preservation and no development. If that is the case, and if he's saying exactly the same thing as DPMTO, where is the dispute? Both agree that the extreme ends of the range are out. So if the ministerial committee is studying the intermediate options within the range, what is wrong with that? 